Now, 28 minutes before the top of the hour, let's uh, continue this story. Hamas is still holding the body of Daniel Perez, who was killed that day protecting the kibbutz of Nelio Ha'oz. Daniel's father, Rabbi Doran Perez, joins me now. Rabbi, great to see you. Would have told mm -hmm. your family paid on that day. Uh, bring us through it. Yeah, you know, we have four children, two sons and two daughters. Our sons are the older two. We, we moved to Israel from South Africa 10 years ago. Our sons were then 13 and 15, and fast forward to October 7th, 22 and 24. Both officers in the Israeli army, our older son in the paratroopers and our younger son, Daniel, older son, Yonatan, older, younger son, Daniel, in the tank corps. Comes October 7th, Daniel is based with his tank crew outside a base called Nachaloz, as you said, next to a kibbutz of many hundreds of people, Nachaloz. He fought for two and a quarter hours valiantly and gallantly with his crew saving so many people, killing many terrorists, until unfortunately he was shot, killed and taken hostage. We only knew, Brian, after 163 days that he in fact had been killed, based on evidence you spoke about, Jabalia. So he was alive when they took him? He, we don't know. I think by the time 12 noon came that afternoon, 163 days later, we got video footage which confirmed, unfortunately, that he'd been killed that day. So it seems that in that encounter, he was killed and probably dragged dead across the border. Our other son, I just noticed the time, it's uh, 7.30 in the morning here, it's 2.30 in Israel. Exactly at this time, 2.30, our older son, Yonatan, was fighting in the same base. It just happened to be that he, he came when he heard what was going on at 8 o'clock in the morning. He came to fight as well. He fought in six different places. And in the same base, it just worked out that he was there. He managed to, with his with officers, to save 22 soldiers, mainly female. Wow. And he himself, in that base at around this time, got shot in the leg. And by the grace of God, was only injured. It went in and out of his thigh. It didn't affect his, uh, his main artery. And... By the end of the day, we had one son missing and another son lying in Beersheba Sirocco Hospital shot through the thigh. And when you see those protesters in New York that are called to action today, and you've seen about it, what are, what are your thoughts? I just can't believe the moral perversion in the world. We're talking today. Today is the 7th of October, the day that Hamas, according to any human standard, came in and in invasion, when Mike Pence visited Israel, I had the opportunity to meet him. He said, Doron, I understood this wasn't an infiltration. It was an invasion in 90 places with thousands and thousands of terrorists and uh, killing, maiming, burning, raping, and then taking 250 hostages. This should be a political issue. Is there nothing about politics and ideology, which is straight human morality? It just boggles the mind. You're going to make, give that message at the UN a little bit later, but and you have some pictures in your lap. Unfortunately, we're almost out of time. Just yeah. show us something just that you want everyone at, at home to see. I just want to see that the, these are some of the hostages. This is my son, Daniel, along with the, uh, at Rome, you'll become very friendly with. Both still held by Hamas. Unbelievable. Here we have a Bibas family. Brian, an entire family taken hostage. Nine months old Kfir, he was nine, nine months month old, when huh? he was taken. He's been longer in captivity if he's alive than he has been in freedom. It's under the whole Bibas family. Here we have a Muslim who was killed in captivity as well for the Israeli army. An old man who is uh, 85, just at the, the oldest person. Uh, he's a great grandfather. And look at this, the final one. Here are seven girls being held. This is, this is from Hamas' psychological warfare, releasing these pictures to show what the people are going through. is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 101 hostages, one year later. Right. Where is the basic humanity which comes along and says, unconditionally, every single one of these hostages right. need to be let out. We dare not pay ransom and reward horrific uh, hostage taking. Your composure and ability to tell the story that's so personal is, is uh, was fantastic. Thanks so much. Appreciate you going through this and keeping the message.